the streets are back open. The police have left, but I'm standing right where the kids would have been standing, waiting for a bus to come and take them to Eastern High School. It would have been dark. It was a little chilly. It was raining off and on when a car pulled up right there and shots rang out. Police combed the streets for hours after the shooting. They say one teenage boy has died. Another teenage boy was taken to the hospital to be treated for his gunshot wound. Another girl was injured, but police are not sure if she was grazed by a bullet or hurt some other way. The aunt of the 16 year old who died said he was a good kid who spent much of his time working. He just still cause. I know y'all probably do, have interviewed a lot of families where right. I, I can't believe this happened. You know, he didn't hurt nobody. He didn't do anything. They, can be, no they can be out in God knows what. But I'm telling you, for a fact, my nephew wasn't. He didn't yep. have that time on his hands. Yep. Between school and working, his mother, you, 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 you went to bed by 10 o'clock. Now, that aunt and another neighbor I spoke with say this isn't the first time there has been a shooting at or near a bus stop in this neighborhood. The aunt and some family members told me there have been two other shootings here near this bus stop in the, in the past few weeks. And another neighbor who lives down on 22nd Street told me that there was a shooting near a bus stop there on the first day of school. Live in Louisville's Russell neighborhood, Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News. Thanks for that update, Mark. City leaders, including Mayor Greg Fisher, LMPD Chief Erica Shields, and JCPS Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio spoke just moments ago. They offered their sympathy to the families of those shot, and the mayor also had this message. To the rest of the community, and specifically to those committing these crimes against what is civil and decent and compassionate, I say again, Please look in your heart. You were not born this way. This is unacceptable. As a superintendent, knowing that one of the students in your community has died, especially being shot at a bus station and excuse me, at a bus stop in a drive-by shooting, is just devastating. But as a father too, as a father where your child is walking out the door, it makes you want to hug your your child a little closer. JCPS says they'll be supporting the families of the students shot as well as the students who are at the bus stop and their classmates. We will continue to follow the late breaking developments on air and online at WLKY.com and on the mobile app.